I'm about to show you how you can scrape thousands of agents information within a few minutes. So what we want to do is go to this tool called Browse AI. You can either go to browse.ai or you can hit the link in the description below. But we're going to sign up for their free trial. And I believe on the free trial, you can download like a thousand or two thousand agents. Um, if you sign up, it's 50 bucks a month. And I think you get 20,000 downloads a month or, you know, something crazy like that. But in any case, we're going to sign up for the free trial of browse.ai. Once we do that, we need to go to either homes.com, Zillow, realtor.com, anywhere where you can get a list of agents from. I personally like homes.com and I'll show you why here in a second. So let's say we go to homes.com. To get to the list of agents, we're just going to come up here to the left-hand corner, find an agent. And then in this search bar, we're going to put the county that we're looking for specific agents in. So let's say, for example, we're looking in Pinellas County. We'll hit Pinellas County. <clears throat> and then from here, we can see that there is 17,000 real estate agents in Pinellas County. Now, we don't necessarily want to download all of these inf or all of these real estate agents because some of them might be licensed in Pinellas County, but they might not be active. Like they might still hold an active license, but they might not be actually doing deals or marketing for new deals, right? And so how we want to narrow this down is we can come over here to home type. Maybe we're only looking for real estate agents who deal with houses, townhouses, and land. And then from here, we can go over to sales and area. So this is how many sales have they done in Pinellas County. <clears throat> so let's say we want to do five or more. That dropped us from 14,000 all the way to give or take 5,000. And then we can narrow this down even more. So what we want to do is come over here to this filter, uh, filter button. And we can scroll down to where it says specialization. And we can select seller's agent. So now this is only going to highlight agents who are focused on the seller side. And then if we scroll down some more, we have these additional specializations. So we can highlight investments, short sales, foreclosures, and distressed properties, because those are all likely real estate agents that we can work with in regards to outdated properties or, you know, anything like that. Now, that's not to say we can't go after all of those other agents. If you have a, the means to do that, definitely feel free to do that. I'm just showing you how you can narrow it down um, to maybe be a little bit more targeted if you don't have that much time or you don't have a big team. So then from here, we'll go to C904 agents. And now you can see that we have all of our agent list right here. So what we want to do is grab this link. Um, yeah, so we want to come up here to the address bar and we want to grab this link. And then we're going to come over here to browse AI. Now from here, we want to click into robots if you're not already. And then we want to select extract structured data. And then you can see here, we have this little robot on the screen and then we have origin URL. So we're going to put that URL that we just copied and then we're going to hit start training robot. Now from here, you can see that we have this window pop up and this is the page that we just inputted in there or the web link that we just put in there. <clears throat> so what we want to do from here is click on this little robot. So we're going to click on it and then we want to say capture list. So we'll hit capture list and then we come over here to see how it highlights all of these. We don't want that. We want to make sure it's highlighting Again, see how this one's only highlighting those two? We want to make sure it's highlighting all of the agents, not just their information like this. So we really want to make sure that we see all of these items selected. So then we're going to click. And then from there, we're going to highlight all of the information that we want to extract. So we have their name, their brokerage, their phone number. Maybe we want to get how many sales have they done in Pinellas County? And then it's asking us which information we want to take from that. So we'll take the visible text. And then maybe that's all the information that we want. And then we hit enter. Now this is asking us for the name of the column 
that this information is going to be in. So we can do agent first name, or excuse me, agent name, brokerage, phone number, and then total sales in Pinellas. And then we can hit that. Now from here, it's going to pull up our seg, like kind of like a um, an overview of the list that we're pulling. So this is only pulling from the first page and we want to pull from multiple pages, right? So what we want to do is come down here to where it says, please select the pagination type. We're going to click on this and then we're going to go down here where it says, click on next to navigate to the next page. So what we want to do is click on that. And now this is asking us what that next button looks like. So if we scroll all the way down here, we don't want to select the numbers. We want to select the next arrow. So we're going to click on this and it's going to bring us back to this page. And then we're going to select custom number and we're going to do, let's say 250. And then from here, we want to name the list. So let's say we name it Pinellas County Real Estate Agents. And then we just hit capture list. And then we come up here to finish recording. It's going to say upload recording. It brings us back to this page. We hit save. And then from here, it's downloading or scraping all of that information. So I'm not going to speed this up or anything. Let's see how long it takes. It's 341 PM and we should be just about there. And it looks like it's been probably like a minute and a half or two minutes. Um, <clears throat> so then once this gets to 250, it's going to show us, yep, there we go. So once it gets to 250, it's going to show us all of this information right here. Um, and then from here, we can see all of those 250 items and we can hit download, download CSV. And now it just downloaded that list for us. All right, so once we download the list, we need to clean it up so that we can upload it into our CRM. So what we wanna do is come up here to the download area and open up the actual you know, document. So you can see here we have like agent name, brokerage, phone number, and total sales. Now, depending on what CRM you're using, like for example, if you're using my CRM, REI closed, um, you'll wanna add a couple things in here so that way it uploads into the system um, correctly. So how we're going to do that is we'll take this information right here. So let's just grab the agent name, brokerage, phone number, and total sales in Pinellas. And actually, I don't even care about the total sales. Um, so let's just highlight the agent name, brokerage, and phone number. And then we're going to highlight all of those. So if you want to know how I just did that, we're going to hit shift and command. And I think if you're on Windows, it's control shift. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure, but we're going to hit shift and then command, and we're going to hit the down arrow and it's going to highlight all of those. And then for me, I do command C to highlight or copy all of those. Again, I think it's control C if you're on windows. And then what we want to do is, um, go to Google sheets and we're going to create a new sheet and we're going to hit command V or control C or however you're copy and pasting. And then we're going to paste all of that information into here. Now, what we want to do is add a few more things in here to make sure that it gets uploaded. So for example, when we click into a, um, a contact within our CRM, we have all of these fields over here on the left-hand side. And we also have this information right here, the owner or the assigned to. And then we have, like I said, all of these fields over here from the contact information to acquisitions and dispositions information. So depending on what list we're uploading, essentially in this one, we're uploading the agent list. We need to make sure that we're pulling all the information that we want to populate. So let's start from the very top and kind of work our way down, right? So we want to make sure that anyone we upload into this is being assigned to the proper user within our platform. 
So if we come over here, we're going to make an assigned column. So we'll do assigned. And then we'll come over here. We already have the first and last name. We have phone number. And then we want to take contact type. So we'll put contact type right here. Then we'll come over here. We want to grab profession. We'll put profession right here. And then we want to open up the acquisitions tab. And we want to grab all of these fields right here. So we'll grab the acquisitions um, communication type. <clears throat> and then we'll grab the supplier source. And then we'll grab target markets. Why is it like that? All right. And then what we want to do is go to, nope, that's it. Okay. So now what we need to do is make sure that all of this is populated with the correct information that we want to put in here. So for me, I would have assigned Jacob Simpson. So we would have Jacob Simpson. And then because, well, in this case, it would be Jacob Testman. <laughs> But in any case, we would have Jacob Simpson or Jacob Testman, and then we want to grab this information. So under contact type, we have acquisitions. And if they're dispositions, of course, we would put dispositions. But we're going to go over here and we're going to put acquisitions for profession because this is a real estate agent list. We're going to select real estate agent. So we'll select real estate agent. Whoops. Real estate agent. And then we have our communication type. So again, if we come down here, we can see communication type. And in this case, we're talking to them on REI closed. So we'll put REI closed and then our supplier source. So if we click in this, we can see all of our supplier sources. In this case, it's MLS. I mean, excuse me, in this case, it's agent outreach. So we'll go ahead and put agent outreach. And then we have acquisition target markets. And like we said, in this case, it was Pinellas County. Now I don't have, for example, if I go to target markets, I only have your market in my demo account. You would want to make sure that you have Pinellas County already put in there. Um, so in this case, maybe we put it like Pinellas County, Florida. Perfect. And then because all of these are going to be the exact same information for all of these agents, what we can do is just highlight them, come to this little like dot right here. When it turns into a little cross, you can grab this and then um, just kind of scroll down and make sure you don't unclick until you go all the way to the bottom. And then once you get to the bottom, you can unclick and it pulls all of that information and duplicates it all down there for you. <clears throat> and then from here, all we do is just upload the list. So let's say this was Pinellas, county agents and then we come over here we hit file and then we hit download download pdf and then oh wait sorry not pdf download and then we go csv then we jump back over into rei closed <clears throat> we're going to click into our contact section we're going to go over to import contacts. We'll hit upload a file. We have our Pinellas County agents right here. So we'll click this and then we're going to hit next. And from here, we just have to match all of this information up. So agent name isn't recognized. So we'll just select name. Brokerage isn't recognized. So we'll come and we'll select company, company name. Um, assigned is recognized as assigned contact type for whatever reason was not recognized. So we'll just type in type and we can see it's right there. And then, um, acquisitions, communication type that was recognized supplier source was recognized and target market was recognized. Now, um, if for some reason, like, let's say, you know, you didn't want to pull in one of them. Like, let's say, for example, we had that Pinellas total sales and I didn't want to map that out. All you need to do is hit don't import data in unmatched columns. But again, this was assigned. 
and then we hit next and you can name the list. So we can name this Pinellas County Agents. And then we can create a list of contacts from this import. And if we drop the advanced, um, if we hit the advanced dropdown, we can change some of these filters. So for example, by default, it's gonna add new and then update any existing contacts records. We can also just add new or we can just update existing. So if we wanted to add new, it's gonna say, do you wanna skip existing contacts based on either their phone number or their email? Same if you do update existing, how are you finding that existing information? In this case, we're going to add new contacts and we're going to skip them by their phone number. And then if you wanted to add a tag, you could add a tag down here. Um, and then we're just gonna hit submit. All right, so once that list is fully updated or uploaded, you can come over here to bulk actions. And you can see right here that it says complete. If you view details, or excuse me, if you go over here to show stats, we can see 239 were created and then we had 11 errors. Um, if you click right here, you can show your error log and see you know, exactly why some of them didn't come through. But in this case, I'm assuming they were just duplicates. Um, so then we can jump back over here to the smart list. And if we want to see the list that we just uploaded, we can come over here to more. We can scroll down to Pinellas County agents or whatever you named it. We'll click on this. And now you can see our 239 agents that we just uploaded. And if we clicked into them, we would see all of the information that we had them import into it. So like real estate agent, REI closed, um, agent outreach. And then again, we didn't have the target market in there and we didn't use the same um, contact information. I put Jacob Simpson, not Jacob Tessman. So you'll just wanna make sure that all of the information that you're putting in the columns or in those specific cells are accurate and are reflected within the actual system as well. But that's how you would go ahead and scrape a massive list off of realtor.com, Zillow, homes.com, and then you can upload them into whatever CRM you're using. Hopefully you're using REI Closed. And if you are interested in some more information on REI Closed, there is a link in the description below where you can check out a demo. So yep, yeah, that's how you download agent lists. Um, hopefully this was valuable. Hopefully this will save you a lot of time and a lot of tedious manual scraping. So again, I appreciate you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, share this video, and I will catch you all in the next one.